Welcome back to the Tokyo Show. I'm your host, Nicholas Pettis. Today's Fight Talks. All right, so I'm gonna try and do this in just one go. You, the camera, watching here, and me on the screen here with a fight uh, against Ricky Nicholson. So, uh, as you can see on the screen, that's the Francisco Filio, my own training partner, and Glaube Feitoza also. We were all from Kyokushin back in those days. Um, I was considered to be like the next thing up and coming, uh, and I'd actually been away from kickboxing for uh, almost two years at this point. Um, the reason being that I fought my first fight in K1 and got badly knocked out and they just knew that I wasn't ready for it. And I really wasn't. And here I just uh, say uh, that I really would like to see all three of us go to Tokyo Dome and uh, see if we can all fight there at the Dome. Anyway, so this is a tournament rule. Uh, it's a um, two knockdown uh, system in the fights. And this is my opponent here, uh, Ricky Nicholson. Uh, he is the world champion kickboxer. Uh, and as you can see, he's a pretty heavy hard hitter. Uh, I was a bit apprehensive walking into the fight against Ricky Nicholson because uh, <laughs> he had way more experience in my hand than I had. This was literally my third real fight. So I'm just gonna pause the video there a little bit. Um, yeah, when I say the third uh, fight, so I fought, my first fight was the debut against um, uh, Stefan Lecho. And uh, that lasted a, a round and a half, maybe. In the second round, he came out and just completely destroyed me. He played with me in the first round, basically. Um, we might get to that one day, too. Uh, and then I had to redo everything and restart everything. So I took a trip and went all the way to uh, America. And I trained in a Muay Thai gym in America, which was run, which was called Saksan uh, Janjira. So it was the Saksan Janjira gym. And he was a former Lumpini, ranked number one uh, back in Thailand. Uh, but and then I spent a long time learning while I was in training camp over in America in the, the, the Muay Thai gym I actually fought under Nicholas Janjira the name. Yeah um, Funny story is good. That was uh, that fight would actually Against the uh, the American US uh, later on uh, K1 champion. Uh, I beat him in the third round uh, Got him I think I dropped the low kicks or something like that um, But I don't have that footage anywhere, but so Coming into this tournament here, as you can see, it was gonna be my actual third real fight. Um, this was down in Nagoya, in something called Nagoya Dome, where they had, uh, I think it was 27,000 people in there. So it was pretty intimidating to walk into. Uh, in my corner is Maurice Smith, and that's one of my karate kohai. Um, I was also training uh, many times in America with Maurice Smith, um, and he's the, my first actually teacher of kickboxing. Um, so it always felt really good. It really felt safe um, when uh, Maurice was with me. I mean, he was an outstanding kickboxer, uh, 12 years uh, undefeated heavyweight champion of the world. So like, he just speaks for itself there. Uh, so Ricky Nicholson here, he's a little bit heavier than I am at the time. I think we're about the same height. It says 183 and 102 there. I know I was under 100 kilos and uh, I don't know, I, I guess I'm 180, so it's about the same there. Yeah. Anyway, it's, uh, it's actually a pretty high-paced fight. Uh, comes in uh, pretty cool. Uh, I like to fight someone the same height as me. Uh, although I didn't have a lot of experience here, I felt very confident. Um, this is the referee Shimada-san, a uh, really famous referee here in Japan. He's still active as a referee, I think. Good, shake on it and let's get going. So the plan for me was literally to um, yeah, open him up and show him a little bit different style. How a Kyokushin uh, kicker can kick into this compared to a, um, a generally speaking normal kickboxer. So our kicking style in karate, uh, coming from karate background, is always going to be a little bit different than the, the traditional Muay Thai's or the kickboxers. Yeah. So I'm just kind of sussing out here what's going on. You know, this thing. No, no, that didn't hurt. That was no big deal. It wasn't really a big deal. And then I dropped the first low kick. Boom! And you should really hear it. Like the whole crowd went, wow! <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty exciting. Yeah, here I'm just um, not really experienced enough to have a real game plan or anything. So I'm just throwing out some kicks there to see if we get feeling. Now that middle kick was awesome and it felt great. Now, now I have already gotten confidence here. There I start to switch back to a little bit of karate style. I would not walk around like that, generally speaking, in a fight, um, slowing down and, and, and putting your feet flat on the ground like in a karate style. But it was still engraved with me in that time in, in the career. So, um, Fight continues here, you know, I'm gonna try and look for some punches. The idea when he switches from south, from, from orthodox to south pole is that I wanna kick him on the front leg. I wanna punish him for that so that I don't let him do that. There it is. And that was a well-timed kick. Beautiful, another middle kick. Um, that's a nice kick. <laughs> yep, yeah. that felt good. The crowd went crazy for that one. Uh, at this point, I'm feeling very confident because I can tell that uh, I've got way more power than him. 
um, not just punching power, but like literally my kicks are way too strong for this gentleman. Um, I'm not quite sure why this hurt so much here. I think he twisted his ankle or something. I'm not too sure, honestly. I mean, because for me, I don't know how that low kick um, could have dropped him. He must have hurt his ankle when he slipped or something like that. He's pretty excited here, you can see. Good uh, fan service there, I just, as you call it. Good, now so, this is basically the fight. This is just one round, like everything was done in that less than three minutes. Um, which is great because it leads up to the Jerome uh, Lebanon fight that we spoke about last time. Um, and you already saw what happened there. <laughs> anyway, uh, respect to the opponent, respect to the team. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, it looks like he really twisted his ankle or something. I do not think that I kicked him uh, that hard. That, that was an exceptionally beautiful axe kick. I'm very proud of myself for that one. And on that note, guys, this is it. I'm gonna say thank you guys for watching today. If you wanna come back and watch more uh, fight talks, or if you have other fights that you want me to talk about, please leave the comments down below and uh, I'll see you back here again next time. This was the Tokyo Show.